to get the ball rolling, we head down to the Niger frenzy that was the Nigerian Entertainment and Lifestyle Awards. In its third year, the occasion continues to draw some of the best-known UK-based Nigerian talent who join forces for one night to celebrate their achievements in the entertainment, creative and lifestyle sectors. And with 2014 being another sold-out affair, if you weren't lucky enough to get a ticket, here's some of what you missed out. Out on. Whoa, thank you, thank you, thank you, Messimo. Obrigado, gracias. Thank you, sir. Medace, a Santa Sana, Natenda, Yaponga. I love you, thank you. Chizzy, my girl, great to have you. You're looking absolutely beautiful, I must say. Nella Woods, you ready to enjoy yourself? Yeah, can't wait. Thank you for having me, Nella Woods, for the second year running. Really looking forward to Up this for a nomination, best actress. Fingers crossed. What are you saying? I'm I'm quietly confident. Quietly confident. It'd be lovely to win. Obviously, it's always great to be nominated. Well, no, everyone says that. It's great to be nominated. No, it's great to win. Jimmy Akinbola, we do this a lot. I'm a bit disappointed. It's what? taken till mid-February for 2014. I know, I know, because you're a busy man. You're a busy man, and uh, you know, it's but it was meant to be that we meet today. This know? evening, traditional get-up for the Nell Awards. I've got to say, the one thing you are missing that? is a bad boy pair of sandals. Oh. Oh man, you know what, it's too cold, it's too cold. I just thought, you know, I'll put on a nice pair of shoes and, but it's nice to be in the traditional. Normally I'm in the tux and, you know, suit and tie and it's nice just to feel free and traditional. A man who's all over Vox screens at the moment, Freddie Noaka. Great to see you here at the Nell Awards. Good to see you, brother. So I can't believe it, we've already just done coverage for you and you're up for an award this evening. What award is it you are up for? You know what, I've not been told too much now. I know it's something to do with the film stuff that I've been doing. I haven't been told too much. I've just been told to turn up. So I came, but I came with my mum and dad. That's my date for tonight, my mum and dad. Ah, nice. I bet they're proud of what you're doing, eh? Most definitely. I'm trying to make some moves out here, and you know what I mean? It's good to have your parents there, because they've supported me all the ways. A man who's very familiar via our sports show, but this evening wearing your Factory 78 hat. Entertainment, you're here nominated, are they? How does that feel? It's fantastic, because we've been doing it just as you were speaking to Larry. We've been doing it for quite some time, and just to be nominated, just to be recognised for what we've done, especially in the African entertainment scene, is fantastic. That's, that's why I'm all, you know, in my African swag, Today. Sam Shea, great to have you here, guys. Your baby is finally blooming for another year, the third Nell Awards. How does it feel to be seeing it in happening? Well, it's, it's fantastic. It's a lot of hard work, but it's passion, it's vision. And we're so happy that we can celebrate the best of Nigerians in entertainment and lifestyle. You know, it gives us a buzz to know that we're doing something for our country. We're really proud. So where did it come from, this idea, you know, when did the penny drop, you know what, this is what we got to do? Well, um, myself and Sam, we, we're business people, but um, I do a lot of events in the community on a professional level, a corporate level, and we just thought, you know what, there's a lot happening in the UK, as part of the corporate events, we, you know, used a lot of people in entertainment, and we want to portray a positive image of Nigerians here, and through this medium, we're doing that. Ambassador Lawal, Deputy High Commissioner for Nigeria here in the UK. You must be very proud to be here this evening and see what your people are doing. Absolutely. I'm very, very proud to be here to identify with the NEL Awards. It's very important. It is imperative that we identify and, uh, you know, we tell what they are doing here today because uh, it, uh, it's one of the very things that we're very proud of. A woman very familiar to us off our screens, Ron K. Phillips, here at the Nell Awards. It's great to be here and see what your people are achieving in the UK. It's brilliant. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. To be here among Nigerians, all the prominent Nigerians in London, it's brilliant. How do you feel seeing ads, you know, African culture as a whole, and particularly Nigerian, is having such a massive impact on the UK scene now, isn't it? Well, not just on the UK scene. I'm sure you know about Jim O'Neill and where one of the mint countries, Nigeria, is in there with everyone else. It's an explosion going on there. We really are on the map. We've always been here, but now people know that we count, we're going places, we're developing. Nigerians are everywhere and we're doing really good things. Day, great to have you here. What's it like being at the Nell Awards? Oh, probably I believe it's a great privilege and great honour to be here, to be among the great people like yourself tonight. Now, you're up for a nomination, but I immediately thought it would be Best Sports Personality, but it's not. Tell us a little bit about the nomination you're up for. Oh, the nomination world well, is for the uh, education achievement and humanitarian one, so... And it's something special, something different, not all about sports. 
Well, of course, everyone knows you for you know your presence in the NBA and playing basketball internationally. But why have you been nominated for that particular award? Well, probably you know I mean I have illuminated the youth foundation that focus on the youth of development to make the kids stay off the streets and stop the guns and knife crimes and uh, use basketball and education and uh, you know to just to to get them off the street uh, to just that's what I call the shooter board, not a gun, pick a book, not a knife. DJ Abbas, it's a surprise to see you without a glass in your hand, my man. At a party, what's going on? Um, I've had a few. I'll top up soon. <laughs> Nell Awards, why did you have to be here? Why couldn't you miss it? Uh, well, um, I'm a professional and career entertainer, and so obviously it's, it's nice to come out to events that recognize and celebrate people in our industry. I think we, more than anybody else, add that extra zing to Nigerians and Africans in this country, you know. We are therapists. People come out. They're so confident and cocky. It's us that no, no, no. the zing. That's, that's what we do. I know people who've not gone over just because they, they come to our parties, they come to our shows, they come to our concerts, comedy shows. I think Ghanaians would have something to say about this though. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sure they... Oh, guys, Ghanaian independence is around the corner and I know a lot of great Ghanaians doing the same thing we do and Nella was is here recognizing and representing for us. Great event. Halfway through the show, you having a good time. Your boy had a shop pay has walked away with the one for entertainment online platform. Know, you Shock proud of him? No, no, no. Shockwave is fantastic and I've known Factor 78 for years, you know, and they're still doing it and getting bigger and better and waxing stronger. So it's, 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 we need events like this, trust me.